Hey guys, you're watching this one and only. My name is AJ, and welcome to School of Redstone. This is lesson six, and uh, over the last few episodes, we've gone through different gates and uh, everything like that. So now, most of those are done. We can move on to actual uses, uh, stuff that you can do in your survival. So here we have a completely flush wall, but when we flick this lever here, a one wide, two high hole appears. Uh, which can lead to a uh, storage room or enchantment room or something like that. And then we flip the lever again and it makes it go back completely flush as if there was nothing there. And uh, you could always put this lever somewhere hidden up in the, uh, a hole somewhere. Obviously it wouldn't have to be completely on display but for display reasons I've put it here. So on the other side of this lever we've got the redstone uh, leading straight directly into two repeaters on their maximum delay and we'll explain why in a minute but then the redstone is then uh, continued under hidden underneath the floor then comes back up the other side with another repeater just to uh, boost the signal but on no delay that's important uh, and up to a block here now this block here is uh, powering the pistons when we put it back there you, you can hear the pistons go uh, back and forth. So we're going to flick this lever and it's open. So now the input's off. And uh, I'm going to try and explain how this works. It's not very easy to explain, uh, it's just easy to do. So when we turn the input on, it comes down this redstone line and goes into these repeaters first. But because these repeaters are on the longest delay, it comes round here through this repeater and lights this redstone up uh, powering this block before it actually fires these pistons forward so when these pistons are fired forward because this block because this block here is already charged with the redstone it can then push the pistons which will be moved across forward hiding the door uh, and the importance of these, this line going off before these lines is for when we turn it off. Because when we turn it off, uh, because it's going through the repeaters again, it has to, it, it turns off this redstone line before it turns off these repeaters. So when we flip the switch off, it pulls the pist it pulls the blocks back before uh, shoving them to the side. So if we flip the lever here. Let's take them off and see if we can get a better view of it. Okay, so we flick the lever, it pushes them across and then it pushes them forward. And then when we turn it back off again, it draws them back and then brings them to the side. And that is because this is going off before this. So we're going to build one very, very quickly. They're not that hard to build. If you stick your two pistons, uh, four pistons, sorry, not two pistons, like that. And then these like this, because obviously these pistons uh, push this block, uh, th these two pistons, and these two pistons push these two blocks over. So your doorway is going to be there. And then what you want to do is you want to put your repeaters down, and make sure they're on the longest delay, remember that. Hook them up with some redstone and stick your lever. So now we turn it on hat now. You see that the small delay before it actually moves the mover. So if we turn that back off now, what we can do now is we then run the lead under. Make sure you've cleared the way we can always neaten this up in a minute out the way and then this is the block that you're gonna to have to charge this one here so you want to put a block leading to the redstone here now obviously the redstone might not reach no you see as you know redstone can only travel 15 blocks so this is the last one charged this one isn't charged anymore so we just put a repeater there on no delay and the pistons then pushed forward. The first time you will get that, but as soon as you reset it, 
and there we go. And then you can hide it up however you want. So let's just sleep so we can see a little bit easier. And there we go. So that's the two. That's the one wide, two high door. But what you can do is use these this principle to make a two wide, two high door. So on this one we pull the lever and it opens two wide. Now you can hide them up so it's completely fresh. You can put the floor down whatever you want. Same as you can make the wall out of whatever you want. Uh, and I'm going to show you this one quickly. This one looks a little bit more complicated but it's just more compact than the last one. The last one I used because it's easy to explain and then you can implement your own design into how to make it work. So on this one we've got the input coming in on the right and this repeater is here because I built this backwards. I built the contraption first leading out to the input. So the repeater's here. The repeater could be down there somewhere. It doesn't really matter. But obviously this repeater would have to be on no ticks if you're going to have a repeater there. Uh, the lead comes down and instead of going straight into one set of repeaters like it did in that one, because there's two sides it splits off in two directions. One to these set of pistons and one to these set of pistons. So, if we go on this side, the redstone line comes up and has this torch off at the moment because we know when the redstone powers a block, it can turn the torch off that is on the block. We've said that enough, we don't need to say that anymore, I don't think. But And then when it's on, it can then power this repeater, which powers the block, which powers the redstone, uh, which powers... The pistons, the, these two pistons, which powers this block, and this block is powering this piston, this repeater is powering that piston, blah de blah de blah. On the, the block on top, and then all the reason, the, the only reason why this redstone is on top here is to power the pistons to push the white blocks forward once the door has been closed. And then the same on this side. So, I haven't got enough time on this episode to show you how to build it, but what I am going to do is I'm going to scroll around it very slowly. And you can pause the video at points where you want to build it. But it, it's fairly simple. And it, this is just a very compact way of doing it. So redstone signal comes up on this torch. If I flick the switch to close the door. And now you can see that this torch is on. Which is powering this lead up here uh, to close the top two. There's nothing else involved, there's no redstone hidden anywhere else, look. That is the only redstone it is. Very easy to build on survival mode. And uh, yeah, it's great fun. But what I've done here, is this looks a little bit more complicated. But what it is, is it's still a 2x2 two two hidden door. Like so. But on the inside we then have another lever that we can close it up with. And now... If we go back around to the other side, you can see it's completely flush. And then we can open it again with whatever levers we want. And to do this is this XOR gate, which we learned about in the last episode. So if you want to go and see how to make an OR gate in more detail, go back to that and that'll explain it. So, to see what we've done here, we've got our input coming in from the lever, which comes around here and into the XOR gate. And remember, you're going to need to have, uh, you've got two inputs. So on the last OR gate, if we just do it how we remembered it last time, we just had the inputs here. And then you do that. And then you do that. Yeah. But instead, all we've done here is we've just extended the redstone around uh, to the levers where we want them. And it comes to the OR gate through the OR gate and then into the input uh, like last time we had it here and that's all it was this time it goes to the OR gate, uh, the XOR gate uh, and yeah that, that's about it, that is as simple as it gets obviously you'd hide this underground, you could all hide this completely underneath this it's not very big and uh, the way I've done it isn't very compact because I just want to be able to show you guys without it being cramped uh, and disorganized but you can compact it in any way you want but that's how you use an XOR gate for a practical use to be able to shut uh, from the inside so hope you enjoyed guys if you did enjoy leave a like if you haven't already please subscribe 
And if you have any problems that you're having with redstone, or you want me to answer a question about redstone, if you leave it in the comment section below, uh, I will answer it for you. And if it's a big enough subject that I think that a lot of people are going to have trouble with, I'll do it, uh, an episode about it. I think we've got TNT cannons coming up soon, and uh, they're always good fun. So we shall see you then, guys.